Okay, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on what I want you guys to do with your green pictures. So I've just grabbed a picture of Elena here in front of a green screen. The first thing I would really like you guys to do is to go to the image menu way up at the top and go to image size. And I'll pull this down so you can see it. These images are taken very, very big with those cameras. And just make sure you have inches selected here and nothing else. Notice this is connected. So if I make a change to, let's say, 4, the height is changed automatically. So I would like you to go ahead. The first thing I would like you to do is go to image, image size, and change the width to 4 inches, and the height should change accordingly. Now this makes it really, really teeny, but you can always just use your zoom right here, your zoom tool, and make sure you're on plus get it to be as big as you'd like it. Okay, I think I got that a little too big. I'll just zoom back out once. Uh, the next thing I'd want you guys to do is to crop. So use the crop tool to get rid of unwanted, you know, you can get rid of a lot just with cropping, like if I had part of the ceiling or part of the floor in or anything like that. So there we go, I've cropped it. So number one, change the image size to four inches across. Number two, crop the image. And finally, use your magic wand tool. Now if your quick selection brush is shown here, just right click and grab your magic wand tool. The tolerance number kind of depends on what you are wearing. So if you are wearing something that was close to the color of green, you would want to lower your tolerance. Uh, I'm going to leave it at 50 and just see what I get. So I'm just going to click somewhere on the green and it selects a lot of it, but it didn't quite get all of it, did it? So I want to make sure up here in my options bar, I am on add to selection not subtract or not new. So I'm on add to selection and I'm just going to keep clicking on these marching ants if they're out in the green somewhere until it looks like I just have my subject selected. Okay, now after you select something, I always say go to refine edge, but look what happens if we do that on this one. It did that because really my background is what's selected, not Elena. So. I'm going to go to select menu. If you can't see that, it's the select menu, and I'm going to hit inverse. Now, just my subject is selected. I'll hit refine edge, and I'm just going to smooth it a little bit. I'll get rid of some of the green maybe later. I'm always going to output it to a new layer. So smoothing, output new to new layer, OK. And then here's my actual picture. From here then, I could use my little tiny eraser if I wanted to get rid of more of the green. I might want to zoom in. Or I could do whatever other edits I need. But I'm going to say that's pretty good for now. So again, I use my magic wand to do that. And I used a tolerance of 50. This can go up or down. The higher the number, the more it selects. The lower the number, the less it selects. Once you're finished and you have your picture looking the way you'd like it, please save it as a ping file because a ping file will keep that transparent background. Give it a name, uh, whatever makes sense to you, and make sure you know where you're saving it. If this is closed, open it up. Okay, so after all those changes, now I have a ping file. I'll go ahead and close the original and say I don't need to save it. When I go to open, I should have a me standing ping file. Hmm, I thought, we'll open this one because that's a former ping, um, and zoom in with just the transparent background.